Greetings, Retro Zoltan here. For those still fiddling around with your RK 2023, I left you with some unanswered questions and instructions into, well, what I discovered and did with my own RK 2023. So sit back, relax, and hopefully I can help you have a better experience. If you're looking for a quick review of the Pow Kitty RK 2023, feel free to click on the link provided below and at the end of this video. And thanks for watching. Out of the box, turning it on for the first time, you're most likely going to have a version of Jealous that, instead of being installed on the unit, was copied off another one, which means you're going to get a minute-long warning on how if you paid for Jealous, you've been ripped off. To fix this, I went ahead and upgraded to the latest Jealous, which removed the warning, but killed my sound. I never did quite find out why this happened, and that problem mixed with the fact that Jealous isn't even a thing anymore, I wanted to talk about other custom firmware to fix this, and how to do it. We are probably better off, but true talk here, it was one of my favorites that have come out in the past few years. I will truly miss it. Farewell, Jealous. You'll be missed. In the so with Jealous now end of life, what is one to do? There's a lot out there, but I decided to pick two new custom firmwares. A new custom firmware has emerged from the ashes of Jealous, even consisting of a few people from the original Jealous team named Rocknix. By all accounts, it feels exactly like Jealous, and I couldn't be happier to try it out. Another alternative I think that most people will go with also is Arc OS, which I'll show you how to install on the Pow Kitty RK 2020 right now. To save your time, I'm sort of consolidating both installs. I'll let you know when these branch off between the two custom firmwares. Now, let's dive into how you can upgrade your Pow Kitty RK 2023 to run the impressive Rocknix or ArcOS custom firmware. One last thing before starting. I tend to take these videos a bit fast, probably to a fault. So I'll be sure to provide text as well as all links to everything I talk about in this video. If any links expire, please let me know. Keep in mind during with any of this install process, always eject your USB properly by choosing the option in Windows, as well as shutting down your Pow Kitty properly each and every time. Your SDs will thank you for it. Okay, let's continue. Step one. If you're cautious like me, I recommend getting two new SD cards, one for the firmware and one for the games. This ensures that if anything goes wrong, you'll still have your original SD cards as backup. I suggest using a 32 gig card for the firmware and a 128 gig card for the games. You can find these at reasonable prices on Amazon. If you prefer a well-known brand, SanDisk is a reputable choice. Step two, if you don't have one while you're shopping, make sure to pick up a USB to micro SD converter. These devices are inexpensive and essential for connecting your SD cards to your PC. Step three, carefully remove any SD cards currently inserted into your Pow Kitty 2023 and set them aside. It's important to remember which card was in the left slot and which one was in the right, as these will serve as your backups if anything goes wrong during the process. Step four, download custom firmware. Head to the Rocknix GitHub and make sure you download the one available for the RK 2023, or visit the Arc OS GitHub page and download the latest firmware for, for the Pow Kitty 2023. Step 5. Once downloaded, unzip the firmware file. Depending on your PC software, you might need a tool like 7-Zip to extract files. If double-clicking the file does nothing, install 7-Zip and use it to unzip the contents onto your desktop. Step 6. Next, you'll need to write the firmware to the SD card. Insert your new SD card into the USB to micro SD converter and plug it into your PC. Step 7. Open your preferred flash drive writer software. If you don't have one, I recommend using Rufus. Ensure that you select the correct drive to write to, then proceed to write the firmware to the SD card. Step eight. Once the writing process is complete, Remove the SD card from the converter and insert it into your Pow Kitty 2023's leftmost SD slot. Step 9. Turn on your Pow Kitty 2023 and allow it to initialize. The device will go through several steps, including a few reboots. Ensure the device has sufficient battery to avoid shutdown during this process. Wait patiently until it clearly indicates the setup is complete. Step 10. Turn off your system. If you're installing Rocknix, do the following. In most cases, if you already have an SD loaded with games that you bought with your Pow Kitty, insert it into your SD to USB converter, insert it into your PC, and open the directory. Create or move anything you see into a folder called ROMs. Once all that's been moved, you should only see one folder off the root of your game's SD. Remove it from your PC, connect it to the left SD slot of your Pow Kitty, and boot it up. 
From there, you should see your games if you cruise through the menus. If you don't have a game filled SD card from Pow Kitty Ready, do the following. Get a new SD, plug it into your PC, format it to XFAT, Put it into the rightmost slot and boot up your POW kitty. Rocknix, just like Jealous, will populate the SD card with directories ready for you to fill with games. Easy. If it doesn't happen, format it and try it again. Be sure to turn off and on your system each time. Once the process is complete, eject the right SD card, insert it into your computer and you'll see directories for ROMs and BIOS files ready to be populated. If you installed ArcOS, do the following. If you want to use one SD card only, remove the SD card from your POW Kitty 2023 and insert it into your computer. Look for a drive named Easy ROMs. Inside you'll find directories where you can place your games. Copy ROMs from your old SD card or from your personal collection into the appropriate directories in the Easy ROMs drive. Some emulators will require BIOS files to function properly. If you had these from your old SD card or your collection, place them in the BIOS directory. If not, you can easily find them with a quick Google search. If you prefer to use the second SD slot for games instead of having both firmware and games on the same SD card, follow these steps. Get a new SD, plug it into your PC, format the new SD card using Rufus on your PC. Choose the large FAT32 file system format. Insert the newly formatted SD card into the right slot of your POW Kitty 2023. Turn on your POW Kitty and navigate to Options. Select Advanced and choose Switch to Main SD for ROMs. Eject the right SD card, insert it in your computer, and you'll see directories for ROMs and BIOS files ready to be populated. Rocknix seems to give me no issues as I played around with it. The usual things that break when using custom firmware seem to be fine. Keep in mind, Rocknix, even though it's been branched from Jealous, is like new. We're like at the first release right now. But I'm already liking it, no question. As far as Arc OS, they've been around a long time and they have regular releases, so expect things that aren't working to be fixed in the future. Wireless for me isn't working, but I'm sure in time it'll get fixed in future releases. I hope this helps you get out of the weeds if you want to get out of Jealous, but if you insist on using it, I'm sure you can find some RK2023 releases out there in the wild. Just follow my first steps in this video and get it onto your SD card, and it'll be a similar experience to Rocknix. I hope I helped you, and if you need more help, please feel free to ask your questions below, and I'll try to help as much as I can. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support and as always I'll see you next time. Bye.